I'm, I'm interested in the fact that there has been such a focus on the hand from all sorts of different directions. The mystical, the idea of the hand of God, the um, idea of the scientific hand or the diagnostic hand, all of these things uh, come together and in some ways the approaches are not so very different. Well, when Gemma and I first met, we started talking about all the different cultural, social, scientific and medical meanings of the hand how it's used in gesture, how it's used to communicate, how it can be used particularly as a, a touch and a healing touch in particular, which had resonance with the kind of things I look at as a historian of medicine. Who are you? I trace my finger along the heavy wrinkles of your palm. Look at them, look. There's something about the idea of looking into the, the detail of the hand and trying to divine something from that. Tilly showed me this um, picture of a rope maker's hands from the 1860s, very kind of, you, you can see the work in the hands and, and the history in the hands and who the person is and there's a very real sense of that and there's also a sort of mystical idea of that and I'm just interested that that's the way that we're different from animals. Well we also started thinking about hands and forelimbs in different kinds of animals, how monkeys swim, swing from tree to tree, or how large animals might kill and capture their prey, and also how all animals explore their environments. So just thinking more, more broadly than just thinking of a well human individual. I researched at the British Library and in the Wellcome Library, and Tilly suggested a few things to read. And then I kind of focused in on this book by Bell, I found it very poetic and um, there's something very beautiful about that kind of 19th century scientific writing that really appealed to me. When I saw the first draft, I just, I emailed her and said, wow, this is astonishing because it was just so different from the way I thought about how my information would have been interpreted because I think very, I think still very scientifically and she's been very imaginative and creative in the way she's used some of the suggestions I've made but then magnified them and amplified them in very creative, imaginative ways. And fade to black. I'm seeking your identity in the darkness. In the podcast there are different ways of approaching the hand in terms of the language that's used. The idea of looking at it through different eyes. A shifting around of place, not being in one particular place but a, an interest in their hand. I think the listener should be, expect to be challenged, um, excited, um, amused, I hope. There's some funny bits in her, her podcast. Um, I hope they're made to, made to think rather more. Uh, to be frank, I, I was astonished that she's managed to get so much in. Polar bear's just a classic joke. Polar bear walks into a bar. <laughs> I can't tell you the joke, although it will ruin it. <laughs>